Somebody asked me why my audio was so good at the AES show, but a lot of these NAM videos from Winter NAM 2020 don't sound so good. It, it's really a simple thing. And that is, I used one microphone. Now, yes, it might look a little amateur. It might be a little awkward that I have to point the microphone. I have to remember to point the microphone. I have to remember pointing it at myself. So there's gaps in this in the speech. But let me tell you something. One microphone, and that is this one right here, the Electro Voice ND. Let me say that again. Electro Voice ND767A. And the reason it's important is it's a super cardioid microphone. It is actually originally designed as a vocal microphone to be used on stage on a very noisy stage. So guess what? These conventions are very noisy. I would say AES maybe less so because the ceiling's higher, but you know it's, it's a glass ceiling, glass walls, so it's uh, you know it, it is what it is. So the audio is bad because they're using a lot of times two microphones. They're using a headset microphone. I've seen a lav microphone, and most of the time lavalier microphones and headset microphones. I don't want to say every single time. But in a lot of cases, they are omnidirectional pickup patterns, meaning they pick up sound in all directions, at least a lot more so than this, which, again, is a super cardioid pickup pattern. And where you point it is where you get the audio. Now, again, the problem is where, wherever you're not, if you forget to point it at the person's mouth, you can't hear them. <laughs> but, you know, that keeps the background noise to a minimum. It's what I recommend. Also, I recommend not using wireless gear because then you run into problems with possible cutouts. So, again, it looks a little more amateur to not have a wireless microphone. But guess what? The audio was clean going into a cell phone. In 2011, I was going into my more expensive camera. But uh, the bottom line is my audio was good. It was solid. You, he you heard what you needed to hear. And I even had a little system where I could plug in if... I could do it, plug into hardware or to or to a computer and get that audio as well. I mean, we're at an audio convention. Why are we not hearing the stuff? I don't mean like, you know, the microphones, but if there's some kind of processor, it'd be nice to hear that. And that's one thing I'm missing from a lot of this convention uh, coverage. You know, I'm not hearing the audio products in action. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. That I hope that answers the question. And I will be returning to action next month, more than likely.